outside on kind of a cold, crisp day here in Anderson. Uh, this is the 21st of December, just uh, Christmas right around the corner. And we are giving uh, some of the neighbors here in this area a little bit of a present early with this demolition. Tell us about this particular uh, property going down. Yeah, this, this property we've had on the list for 10 years. We've had it transferred in tax sales and people didn't realize it was past repair. So we did get it under demolition this year through community development, which helps us vitalize the whole area. Well, and a lot of folks don't, don't realize, but obviously going back a few years back, we've been very successful in taking down a lot of properties using blight elimination money that came from the federal government. Uh, but then when that went away a year and a half or so ago, we started focusing on using some of our own funds to supplement that. And uh, like you said, community block grant money comes from our community development uh, department. They do a great job in administering that, and that helps you guys in this too. Right. We, we are uh, teaming up together. Between both of us, anything that was left over from Blight, we're able to extend with city funds. So we're keeping on with the Blight program and trying to clean up the city. Well, like I mentioned, we're obviously getting down to the end of the year now, and I know you've been trying to get as many done as we close it out as we can, uh, but right around the corner is next year. So what's on the horizon for next year? Next year, we're moving forward on some of the uh, combo residential we have so we're trying to move into a little more commercial residential especially ones that are on corners uh, not being maintained we're moving forward to we'll have some bigger demos next year well i know in the past with the uh, blight elimination money from the federal government we couldn't use that for the larger projects we weren't allowed to uh, but with uh, the new money and with uh, what we're looking at doing now, we'll be able to get some of those big projects down. I know some of the things we did do this year, we took down the old Powell Club, uh, which was huge. Uh, and I know there's been some private uh, demolitions going on we've been able to assist with. Right, we were able to help with the Blockbuster, uh, the Ponderosa, one of our local contractors, Davis, took care of those. Uh, the, and the people, the management team was very happy to use locals. Well, I know behind us we have Fredericks and they always do a great job too. And uh, just for uh, folks know, we are located about where? We're at 20th, 2015 Locust, taking down one that's definitely needed to come down. Once again, we're if they're needing remodeled, we're not taking down houses that we can't save. We're still trying to save them. I know once in a while people want to know about that. They, they look at them from the outside. Now, now, this one in particular, I don't think anybody reasonably would have thought was yeah. savable. Uh, but sometimes from the outside, they look better than they, they really are. And inside, they're usually a mess. Right. Uh, you know, when, when it's going to cost more than the property is worth or the surrounding properties, it's not good business to, you know, put too much in a property. Now, on the other hand, we've been very successful with uh, some of our uh, local developers here in town that have purchased some uh, that are savable, and they've done a pretty good job with them. Yes, we've had a lot of remodel and bringing houses back to life. Um, since I've been, for the six years I've been the building commissioner, nothing but growth. Um, it's, it's just turning the Anderson around, really. Um, I love being part of it. Well, you do a great job, you and your staff. I appreciate everything you guys do, and thank you for being out here today. And let's look forward to a, a great Christmas and a new year, okay? All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you.